last one. And this is the guy who, um, who's kind of the uh, uh, tragic hero of the Sekigahara battle. This guy, Otani Shisugu. Puro Yoshita, uh, Otani. Otani. Otani, you came and you... Oh, okay. He was a leper. Yeah. Yep. Not exactly the best of diseases to get. By the time of Sikigahara, he could barely walk. And he rode in uh, a palaquin. And often kept his face covered because it you was know, just rotting away. Ah, uh, now here's a little gross animal. Uh, I know. Anecdote. One of the reasons Otani was uh, fought for the Western Army, he was a very good friend with uh, Ashita Mitsunari. Supposedly, uh, there was a uh, tea ceremony uh, or tea party, and each they were passing around the cup, uh, and each person would drink from the same cup, from the same bit of tea. And when it got to Otani and he took a sip, some pus from his face, from his leprosy, fell into the cup. And, and But uh, he'd already passed the cup before he realized it. And other people were just kind of like, oh. Just, you know, but um, Mitsunari, he drank it all up, pus and all. Ugh. Otani was so impressed by that, that uh, uh, Ishida Mitsunari could overlook that, that he, he thought he was quite a man and so he, he became a very good friend with Ishida Mitsunari and so he was there with him at the very end fighting for him and for the Toyotomi cause. His troops fought very hard at Sekigahara. They uh, put up a great fight which kind of angered Tokugawa. He was thinking the battle might go a lot smoother, but he didn't count on the uh, fierce uh, fighting of the Otani clan. The Otani, uh, Otani, so that's why he was the one, he was, he was bearing the brunt of most of the fighting. And then when Kobayakawa turned on him, his forces they were able to they were able to beat him back, uh, but with a great loss. And Tokugawa took advantage of that uh, uh, of that surprise to launch just one major assault on the whole Western Army. Kobayakawa he did not escape, and he um, and he was not executed. He was one of those. He was a true samurai. Uh, his forces were badly beaten and mauled. And uh, when he asked his retainer the outcome of the battle, his retainer told him the battle was lost. Um, he asked his retainer uh, to be his second in his seppuku. He committed seppuku and his retainer cut off his head and hid it at uh, Sekigahara. Every year they do a uh, festival to commemorate the battle. And this time I, I went there and uh, it was rather interesting because uh, uh, for history, Otan Otani is kind of a minor character. Oof. Yeah, he's just one of those players in the Sekigahara campaign. And of course he dies, so nothing else that ever happens to him. So, you know, historians just kind of continue onward with those who did at the Sekihara Matsuri uh, festival, he becomes like one of the principal characters. In fact, I don't even, I don't even think they had some of the other people there. Uh, for them, Otani is the tragic hero, and you have to understand, Japan like uh, Japan loves a loser. <laughs> um, their favorite stories and uh, heroes are those who eventually lose. Uh, Minamoto no Yoshitune, uh, 
for example, a warlord, uh, a warrior of the uh, 12th century who wins many battles, but in the end his brother turns on him and uh, he has to become an outlaw. In the end he dies. And so Otani fits the, uh, fits the bill for the tragic, for the tragic hero. And one of the interesting things, you know, is I've drunk, this is the fifth and final beer, which hopefully I'll make it through. Um, you notice that all of these guys were leaders of the Western Army. There was no beer for the Eastern Army. Rather biased beer. Now, was it, was it because I was too cheap? To buy the entire set or too much of a weak drinker? No, um, actually, I talked to the beer brewer. Sekigahara beer. This is uh, Ishida Mitsunari. All the, oops, all the beers represent the Western Army generals. Say, so, why, why is there no Tokugawa beer? I don't like Tokugawa. Ah. Who is your favorite? Otani <laughs> Uh -huh. Justice. 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 Hi. Otani, like I said, he was the tragic hero of Sekigahara because he fought extremely well. His men fought really hard, and even though he was uh, succumbing to leprosy and, and debilitated, he still was on the battlefield to inspire his men. And he died a soldier's death out on that battlefield. <laughs> Very sad. The um, the uh, festival, they really drum drum up the drama with that. Oh my God! I've been talking for fifty minutes. But, and because this is more local beer, as you can imagine, it's a little bit heavier. Ugh. And my belly's not used. To <laughs> ah, used to that. But as I said, in the end, because of Kobayakawa's uh, treachery, uh, Otani ended up dying at Sekigahara. Ah, five beers. Okay. And so I hope you learn something. My stomach feels very fat at the moment. Uh, so anyway, those were the, the beer of the Battle of Sekigahara. Thank you, and good night.